So we're here looking at the hives on a nice sunny day. It's beautiful out right now. So everything's melting. So you can see the soil actually that under the gar under all the snow here that they're sitting on. But what I was going to show was this. Yeah, you look at this hive, which is very much alive still. Look at the base here. Look at, look at the pile of dead bees. Like it's just it's huge. Now, that's pretty much the exact same behavior I got over the entire summer. You, you look at this hive. There's somebody flying right there, coming out for a flight. Excuse me. Thanks. And you go down here, and of course, you got dead bees and poo, and that's pretty normal. You see, they're not mounding. Same thing over here. You got some dead bees. They're spread around, but they're no, they're not they're not mounding. Now you go back here. Look at that. Just crazy. That's all summer they were like that, and you know what? The queen is probably going to be getting pinched. I think it's time to get some new uh, genetic. Hello, and welcome back to Bazan Honey. It's still a little cold out in February right now. Um, actually, it's fairly warm for the season, but uh, not much going on with the bees, just a little bit of cleansing flights and, uh, and just that. So uh, all, hive, all three hives are still alive and doing well. Uh, and so we've got to do other things, keep ourselves busy. We've been building out hive boxes and more frames and uh, doing all that stuff. Um, but one of the things we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about the uh, flow frames and um, bee acceptance because I've seen a lot of videos and I've seen a lot of people that are having spotty acceptance with the, uh, the flow frames. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about one way that you can minimize the uh, bees not accepting the flow frames as, or, or like as quickly or at all. Some people are having problems. Um, not a lot. The bees seem to be taking them, but uh, this is what I've decided to do anyways for myself. So uh, I've seen a lot of people just going ahead and doing this and, and seeing a lot of success with it. So what we're going to talk about is um, these don't come with any wax on them. They, they come pretty sterile. They're just, they're just plastic. You know, and you know, the bees are okay with these, but they just don't like that raw plastic. Just there's no bee scent to it, so it just doesn't seem natural. Um, when you buy your frames, you know, when you like when you either build your frames or you buy your frames, uh, you can get these. Uh, if you do foundation, you can get uh, just straight plastic foundation with no wax, like, like just they. Uh, they kind of paint it with wax. So if you get the straight plastic ones, I've even seen people on Instagram talking about how it could take years for the bees to actually like fully draw out a, a non pre-waxed uh, frame, um, which obviously is not what you're after. Uh, the ones that I get are all pre-waxed. If you touch them, you can kind of like feel it. It's got that like waxy feeling. Um, these ones smell nice like buckwheat. So I haven't had that problem at all, but I mean, this is all plastic, so um, we could have that problem. We don't want that problem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and melt down some wax, and we're going to paint these frames with some wax. We're going to use an old, uh, it's an old kitchen like basting tool. Uh, the other component to it is broken and gone, so we just figured I could use it because it's probably going to ruin it. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of use out of this other than what, what we're doing here. Anyways, um, so we're going to melt down some wax and then we're going to we're going to use that to just basically one by one we're going to go along and we're just going to paint these and just get some get some wax in there so that it smells like their own their own wax basically and we have their own wax because that's the other thing. should not be using, uh, well, I mean, wax from other hives that you don't know where the, the, you know, the quality of the wax. You don't know if there's been disease in the wax, if it's been rendered down for other reasons. It could be a hive that had foul brood and they've just turned it into wax and sold it as wax. So you do have to be a little careful. It's nice if you have your own wax. 
or you know somebody who has access to you know like some nice clean wax that you you can rely on to be safe um, because they can pick up diseases this way uh, especially since you're not going to heat the wax up too much um, we we don't want to burn the wax we just want to melt it right so uh, this is nice clean um, basically honeycomb uh, capping cuttings uh, from last season from our harvest so I know these are disease free because they came from my bees so we're gonna go ahead and use these and let's get started Take a look here, now we have very lightly waxed frames, a little bit heavier, you can feel it, but uh, if you look in there you can see it all. So just paint it over, kind of get it up in there, and uh, they should be more accepting of it, at least from what I've seen online. This is probably one of the easiest ways to get them to take these. Especially if it's your own wax, it's nice and natural and it's a good way to get them started. So, Plus they can take a lot of the extra wax in here and they can reappropriate it and uh, use it wherever they need to to try to get a bit of a head start. A little less work for them to do. So uh, That's what you can do. So, Anyways, I want to thank you for stopping in and uh, checking on the bees with us. Uh, hopefully we can get posting again some more towards the end of the month, but uh, if not, March is coming fast and strong. We've got a lot of good weather occurring right now, and the way things are looking, we're going to be getting an early spring now. That can change rapidly in this part of the world, so uh, obviously we'll have to just kind of stay tuned and see how things go. But we do know that in April, towards the end of April, we're receiving our queens, and that date doesn't change. So ultimately, um, you know, in the next two months we're going to be getting going here so thank you for stopping by have a good day